Welcome to the first day on the Wisdom for Life uh, study. We're going to be starting the devotionals every day. So today is the day one morning. So today's uh, wisdom verse is Proverbs 1.7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So let's start with an amazing fact. 16-year-old Andrew Kamal holds the record for the highest IQ score ever recorded. His score of 295 makes him the most gifted child prodigy in the world. But a high IQ does not always translate into wisdom. The Bible tells us that Solomon was the wisest person who ever lived. Soon after taking the throne, the dedicated young king earnestly prayed for God's help to govern the kingdom. During the night, the Lord revealed himself to Solomon and said, Ask what, sh what shall I give you? 1 Kings 3.5 Can you imagine receiving an invitation like that from the creator of the universe? It was like receiving a blank check. Had you ever pondered what would you do if you were given a billion dollars? King Solomon humbly responded to the Lord. O oh Lord my God, you have made your servant king instead of my father David. But I'm a, I'm a little child. I do not know how to go out or come in. Then he asked, now give me wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in, come in before these people. For who can judge this great people of yours? 2 Chronicles 1.10 God was pleased that Solomon had not asked for fortunes, long life, or even the death of his enemies. He said, Behold, I have done according to your words. See, I have, I have given you a wise and understanding heart, so that there has not been anyone like you before you, nor shall any like you arise after you. In fact, the Lord said that even though the young king had not asked for riches or honor, this will be given to him anyway, along with a long life. But there was one condition. If you walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Solomon put the kingdom and righteousness of God first, and God blessed him with all the other things. This is what Jesus says will also happen if we have our priorities straight. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Matthew 6:33. The wisdom of Solomon, which comes from God, can be yours today. We too may humbly come before the Lord with faith and seek a discerning mind. In fact, that is the whole purpose of the book of Proverbs, penned prim primarily by the wise men. Such wisdom comes through faith and humility. The fear of the Lord means that we recognize our great dependence on God for all wisdom and knowledge. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answering the prayer of Solomon. Please hear my own humble cry for instructions and guidance today. Today's morning reading will be from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 1 to 19. So thank you once again for coming to us in this new study. We're going to be covering this 131 day of Wisdom for Life devotional. So we'll see you in the afternoon for the evening reading. And then the day we'll continue tomorrow also with day two. So thank you for joining us. God bless you and have a nice day.